years, allegations of child sex abuse have cast a shadow on the Catholic Church. Even the cross has had to share some accusations. But now the La Crosse Catholic Diocese is taking another step toward protecting children from abuse. News 8's Jenna Trump joins us live in our studio with a look at the changes being made. Mark and Lisa, the La Crosse Diocese is updating its policies when it comes to investigating allegations of abuse. But some say it's too little, too late. Bishop William Patrick Callahan will be the first to tell you the Catholic Church was not responsive enough to child sex abuse in the past. Just you know, kind of going along like any other organization and, and within there were problems. But now they're turning a new page. The La Crosse Diocese changed its policies to make it easier to launch an internal investigation. It also now identifies explicit emails and text messages and having child porn on a computer as abuse. Oh, well just take a look at what's happening around, around the country right now. I mean, children are still very vulnerable. And uh, you know, so, so we want to make sure that, uh, that, that we, we look at every single means. The church is, uh, is very much in the, in the forefront of managing these kinds of things. But not everyone sees it that way. The Wisconsin director of the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, or SNAP, rejects Callahan's claims that the church is being proactive. But in reality, they're acting reactively because the rest of society has viewed child pornography for the scourge and the crime that it is. Our concern and the concerns of parents has to be what was the policy prior to this? Since 2003, 11 priests in the La Crosse Diocese have been accused of child sex abuse. Out of those 11, 10 have either died or left the ministry. Bishop Callahan declined to comment on those 11 cases, saying there have been no new ones since he was installed last year. None that have been credible. I mean, you know, there are always people saying this or that, but nothing that has been credible. If Bishop Callahan is not able to comment on sexual abuse reports that came in prior to his installation as a bishop there, then who is? Who is ultimately accountable? It's not acceptable to say that no one in your organization can be held to account for childhood sexual abuse, whether it happened prior to your tenure or if it happened uh, once you arrived. But Bishop Callahan says he's looking into the future, not the past. I pray every day for my priests. I pray every day for those who are affected by their ministry and definitely by those who have been affected by their abuse and their sin. These changes come in the wake of a child sex abuse scandal both at Penn State and Syracuse. And in fact, Bishop Callahan made an interesting comparison. He tells me both with football and in the church, we're moving forward from situations where the institution trumped to the safety of children. All right, thank you, Jenna. The La Crosse Diocese also added people with developmental disabilities as a protected group that will fall under rules governing sexual abuse of children. Now, all of the new changes bring La Crosse's policies in line with those laid out by Pope Benedict the 16th in May.